okay, my darling, but okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, MCM Manchester. Oh, did you wear? Oh, they're quite. Hello, MCM Manchester. There you go. They're here everywhere. So we're with uh, Tamala and Alexandra. They play uh, Queen Anne and Constance Bonayasiu. <laughs> There you go. That's interesting. That's good. That was Actually, a bit. Actually, it's Constance D'Artagnan now because. Oh, yeah. Because he's six feet under and I, I married D'Artagnan. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like Bonus, yeah. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> right. So th are you both feeling all right? Everything's been good. The con's been good so far. Yes, yeah. we've been very well looked after. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Any cosplays that you've seen around from the Musketeers and thought, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've met, uh, we've met an, Ar an Aramis, haven't we? Yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he was, looked Rosie. very impressive, yeah. Wow. So, um, on to the Musketeers then. So basically, um, how much sure? have you enjoyed playing your role so far? Um, a Is lot. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, it's been amazing. Yeah. Um, but like three fantastic years. And I think the roles for both of us have grown throughout the um, series as well. So, it's just sort of got more and more enjoyable to play as it's gone on because yeah. the roles got meatier and meatier and so yeah it's very sad it's all over but yeah we loved it you loved it yeah it's very it was very nice to keep going back each year and know it's yeah it, it's like a little second home so we knew this the set was the same the people were the same the crew were the same so the crew were like an extended family yeah, such, yeah like so you knew what you were getting every yeah. time you went back and it was like a safe place to be, and yeah. then we just welcome all like the guest people that would come in. It was just it was just a really cool, lovely job. Brilliant. So. so, was there like any training for you guys? Like, obviously, before you like went on to, to film, or uh, not, not for me. No. Because obviously, not Luke yesterday was like, we've done this intense training. training yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't have much fighting to do, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Campaigning for a battle. Yeah, that. we didn't really get those. I no. um I only I did a bit of we. Training, not really. No. We'd have like okay. some stunt rehearsals yeah. and um, some horse riding yeah, some lessons. Horse riding. Yeah. yeah, I got to do a bit of horse riding. Yeah. How was that? How was that? The horse riding? Good. Lovely. Did you enjoy it or are you kind yeah, of I not mean, really just horse? No, shoved really on a horse and yeah. oh, you're all right. You haven't yeah. fallen <laughs> off. So yeah, <laughs> great. Film it. <laughs> it's not something you get to do every day. So it's really nice to have the opportunity to like, yeah, yeah. ride around on a horse. So how much research did you do for your roles? Did you do a lot of research, extensive, or did you just kind of? You did a lot because you're, you're, you're well, no, but you're, you you're a real, well, you a were real a real person. person. A real person. Queen, so yeah, I did at the beginning, but it was three years ago now. So <laughs> before I, you, you did know, it for the audition, you got the, the job, and then yeah, no, I did it, <laughs> did it for the first series, and then, um, but there's quite a lot written about Queen yeah. Anne as a character, um, and th they wrote her initially, sort of quite similar to the book, and also yeah. the the real sort of character so it was quite nice to read around that it gives it gives you something to work with and set your imagination going yeah um obviously the whole implying that uh, her son was <laughs> actually the son of aramis the made-up musketeer was <laughs> not so factual um but uh it, it was really nice to have that kind of history in the background and to be able to but there's also so much te other telly that's based around that yeah, period at the exactly, moment. Yeah, there is. That there's so much to kind of to get immersed into that world is quite easy. You can just yeah. there's a wealth of things to choose from. So, yeah. So, costume-wise, did you have much say? Did you have input into the costumes? Uh, were they comfortable? Um, okay. So, uh, in terms of input, so we would have like um, so the design. We had Phoebe. Um, who designed the first two series, okay. and absolutely, ama we absolutely amazing. And um, but we'd go in and have fitting. She'd do designs and stuff, yeah. and then we'd go in and go. Oh, we're thinking of this. We're thinking of this. Does that okay. suit you? So, w and if if we weren't comfortable or thought, oh, can you know, can we change yeah. the neckline yeah. on that? That might. Look. So we had that kind of oh, input. Okay. So yeah. we were always comfortable in that sense. And then with Haley again. Um, for the third series, it was a lot different for both of our characters, really. The costume designs yeah, were very different. Exactly. But again, um, we, were, we yeah. were allowed to go, oh, can we, ch can we have this sleeve yeah. or blah, 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 rather than... 
um, that's. But in terms of comfortable, you're in corsets Corset, all day. So yeah. Not, 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 not the most are comfortable. They, are they like continuously just pulling you about to keep it nice and tight? Are they or just? Well, they they try their best to yeah. like make yeah. no make. No, it they try their best to make you comfortable. comfortable. The costume yeah. girls on set are always amazing. They give you like comfy shoes and like, and you don't have to sort of normally tighten all up until you're walking on but because the thing with nature of those costumes are the boys could always just like leave off all their jackets and stuff and just stroll around in, like a shirt and their trousers whereas the dresses are pretty much once they're on they're on you can't really sort of yeah so go in they go can't into be a toilet on, so you I kind of a you nightmare. are in the more day a cabin is uh, yeah so obviously queen anne's costumes yeah. are a bit oh more my God, the amount of times so like, like i was like going to the toilet and half the dress got like Went down the loo. I, just, I mean, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. that much material and for it not to happen. Ah, the glamour. <laughs> no one smelt that, did they, when you went back on set? Like, oh, yeah. Why is that? Stinky well? Queen Anne. Um, stinky Queen Anne. Stinky Queen Anne. <laughs> no. So what has been the hashtag. kind of challenging parts of your roles um, that you found challenging? I... I mean, it was very challenging having to snog Luke Pascalino <laughs> every day. Oh, yeah. A lot of, I envious, mean, a lot of envious women yeah. out there. Such hard, work. such hard work. Such hard work. Because, you Is know, they're kisser? not that nice to look at, are they? <laughs> Is it a good kisser, though? Or would you just say, oh, no. Awful. Awful. Mm, really you, you hear it here first. No, Luke, it's, it's not all that. Um, not all that. <laughs> so, yeah, no challenging, no challenging aspects to your role, absolutely. Well, no. I mean, no. just... Emotion and... Yeah, of like course. That, you know, and then it's the yeah. fact of that with filming, um, you have to repeat things over and over uh, and over again because they do it yeah. from different angles or the lighting wasn't right. or yeah. um, That's challenging... I just filming in general, not yeah. specifically yeah, to this job. Yeah. But yeah, having to sort of turn it on in an instant yeah. from sitting, you know, been sitting in your trailer for four hours. Wow. And then they go, oh no, we, we need, it's all hurry up and wait when, when you're filming. Yeah. And then so that, I find that, I think we both yeah. do find that aspect of filming, of filming difficult. difficult. Just tough. Yeah. It's just, yeah, and um, you know, and there's, it, there's lots of distractions going on. The amount of people it takes to set up one shot. Yeah. And then there's, you know, there's a camera in your face. There's people faffing around with you. And then it's like, go. And then you've cry. got to act. That's it. Go. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> I bet you're ready to cry at that point. Like, oh, you're all right. I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. So um, I asked this question for Luke yesterday. I said, do, like, do the guys swoon over the women on set? And vice versa for the women to the men. So Both. what about, do you women swoon all over the, the uh, musketeers on perv set? Perv all over the boys. Yeah, you just yeah. perv. Yes. You just go, wow, look Openly. at you. Openly. Yeah. I'm going for my trailer now. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Is it intimidate is it intimidating? Like they're so gorgeous that like, they could just roll swagger up to you and you're just like, oh, um well, <laughs> uh, because very soon like it was like You get used to you it. You get weirdly. used to them and you're just yeah. like, whatever. Oh it's Luke. <laughs> it, it's only Luke. Oh, it, right. It's yeah. intimidating in that the the kind of the whole crew and it was it's quite it was quite male dominated yeah. set. Yeah. And you know you were very, like, we, yeah. We're you feel like quite a small part of it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, when you're a, when you're because a female, yeah. Yeah. you're like, oh hello. <laughs> it is so Here much about Kelly the boys, but not their beauty. No, stops no. Being intimidating after a while. Yeah, yeah. So you don't stop admiring it. Nah. So <laughs> Alexandra, you played Rosalind Frey in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Did you enjoy that part? Yeah, really enjoyed it, but it was I was terrified because it was Cause such a big show yeah. and it was sort of my second job and I, I was, didn't know what I was doing there. And I was like, oh. Um, <laughs> Did you feel that? Huge out? set. I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, the amount of... I mean, Ian did say he was, he was like the, grand, on. The, the, the grandeur on set. Like exactly, you wouldn't, the you know, grandeur. It was absolutely like mad, but apart from that, it's you know, he's, he, he gave us a few kind of... Um, tidbits from the set. So when you was there, did you kind of see any like things there that you were kind of like, wow, that's that you there wouldn't was, see like, on TV? There was like real fish because it was a wedding feast. Yeah. And like all the food was real. They had like, you know, like 50 and all down these tables, like long, long, long dressing tables going to probably like length. It felt like being in this space actually, yeah. but like full of dressed, perfectly dressed characters, like every single costume. 
was, ama- you know, they were all sort of dirty frays, but they were amazing costumes. And it was this entire space, this like as big as this whole thing. And um, down to, you know, the very last, I, d- I can't even remember now, but I mean, if you, if you watch it, you can see, yeah. see it. None of it's fake. Like, it's all just real like <laughs> stuff and it because normally you would think oh it's it. just plastic or you know it's you just know, it's just been carved out of polystyrene and then just dressed up to make it look like that yeah but i mean obviously some of it, it won't be like real gold and all the but yeah. it's it, it's um amazing the amount of work that goes into those sh- i mean you can't the, underestimate it is it's it the same with the um amazing musketeers set for you both yeah is that is absolutely. It exactly the same the production what, what, values are so high on musketeers like yeah the m- this yeah. set, Dave Arrowsmith, he designed the set. It, it's Beautiful. phenomenal yeah. what they did. The amount of work and the amount of detail. And yeah. um, it's, I mean, we got to go to some beautiful locations. Um, and but and you it's know, the sort of thing where you don't want to leave it because it feels like a real place. It feels yeah. when it, when it, I don't, has it already happened? What? Yeah. I don't want to say in case. I no, no, no. You can't. You can't. You can't say anything. Can't say anything. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but just at the end, leaving it was really sad because you you grow quite attached to the actual yeah. spaces you're in because they're really, you know, sometimes you go on something and it's just a bit of polystyrene and it's about to fall down. You're sort of like, well, what's this? You know, yeah. am I meant to feel like a real person in this space? But <laughs> yeah. these were real spaces. So like, what, it was beautiful. what was your f- like favorite location then to film in? Like that you was kind of like you read the script and you thought, yep. Yeah. That I'm going there. I'm, I'm liking that. I I preferred. I I just liked our main unit base. Yeah. So where the garrison is. Where yeah. the garrison is yeah. and where Constance House was. Yeah. And all that. I that was my favourite place to be. Um, just cause it was just. Because that was where you most didn't know what was real so and what was wasn't. What like yeah. even up until the third series, I would be knocking on walls and yeah. going. Oh, that's real Brit. Oh, that that isn't real. That isn't, no. Oh, they built that, and you can't tell because, honest to God, the the detail and the work the that went into it, is, yeah, it's brilliant. As well, to then. So coming away from like the Musketeers, you was in the Inbetweeners. Mm. How fun was that to do? To, to be there with them three guys. Everyone knows the in-betweeners, they're funny. Were they funny yeah. on set? Um, would you, did you feel comfortable? Yeah, I mean, the in-betweeners was my first job, and I, again, like Alice, I was a bit, uh, was a bit rabbit <laughs> in the headlights. Yeah. Um, and I, d- I don't think I uh, quite took in what was going on, yeah. to be honest. Um, and But it, it was fun, and... I made friends for life with the girls because we're all sort of in the same boat. Yeah. Um, uh, other than Laura Haddock, we hadn't really done a lot of screen work. Or yeah. I mean, I'd done, I hadn't done anything. Um, so we were all sort of together and then we all flew out together and we all like would go out for meals. And then the lads were great, really yeah. intelligent, really funny, really lovely guys. And it was a brilliant six weeks. Oh, amazing. So the dream. Have you got any stories from the set of the Musketeers that you could probably tell us that no one else has probably ever heard? Any funny stories or anything? Um, what other than and Tom Burke not ever being able to get off a horse or on a horse? <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> oh no, I can't. He'll kill me. No, no. I mean, he he was always entertaining. Yeah. Um, Very safety conscious, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It <laughs> sounds like this was a running thing on set. Just, you know, <laughs> if there's going to be any danger with the horse. Yeah. <laughs> uh? Um, uh, no, we, we didn't be... Oh, they, the boys would always um, hide. Oh, yeah. Hide and jump out. Uh, Luke said there was a lot of banter on set. Yeah. There was a lot of practical Naughtiness. jokes. A lot. Best yeah. practical joke that you see. What? what? Didn't... Um, I mean, there was. Oh, I didn't see it. That's the thing. I always just heard about them later. What oh, about the one when Tom hid in Luke's toilet? The toilet, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> in the roasting heat. Really? In the roasting heat. And, in, in and, full and Luke was didn't even come back. He didn't come back. Never he just didn't. waited there all oh. afternoon. No, he just tried to jump back. He literally never stuck came in back. his smelly, sweltering toilet in his trailer. Like, I'm sure he's going to come back. I'm sure he's going to come back. Was he in full costume as well? 
Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's next for you both? Where can we see you both going in the future? Well, we've literally, last night, we've both just been in a play together <laughs> in Bath. Wow. And it was our last night, last night. So, can you tell us a bit about the play? Uh, I can, but it's all yeah. over. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, you yeah can but tell it us was a, a it. it was a Terence Rattigan play yeah. called While the Sun Shines, set um, in 1943. And uh, Ali played uh, a corporal waff, and I played. Uh, the press described as the tart with a heart, okay. <laughs> obviously. Um, <laughs> and it was, it's just been the most amazing yeah. three weeks yeah. of being on stage with the most beautiful company of actors. Beautiful theatre. Would you go back into theatre, the pair of you? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we love it. Would you prefer yeah. that rather than the TV or movie set? I don't think it's a matter of it's preference. It's no. just, yeah. just the acting. I think... I think, I mean, I'll speak for us both, but I think we both would like to keep mixing it up, really. Yeah. Not get stuck in one medium. One and yeah. You know, keep... Because they're completely different skills that get yeah. stretched in TV yeah. and theatre. Yeah. And I, I think it's very nice to keep coming back to theatre and keep grounding yourself and working on text and things okay. like that. And, yeah. Yeah. And I do, mi I do miss the theatre if, if, if I've been out of it for a while, yeah. Okay. Right. So, well, that is absolutely everything from us here on stage. Um, remember, guys, uh, to find the Pokemon on stage. Do you know where the Pokemon are on stage? I mean, I do not understand what this thing is. You I know. really no, don't I get it. If I've just heard people fall, fall off cliffs, up. and I'm like, what? No, I've not done that myself. But I don't <laughs> understand it. I don't understand. They're not got, real. Have you got a have you got a, what's your Twitter name? Are you on Twitter? Tamla Kari. Right. Twitter Tamla. Tell her what Pokemon goes all about. This is going to just go off now. <laughs> Twitter Tamla and tell her what Pokemon goes all about and then get I, I feel like I might not like it. I think you will. <laughs> the, all the boys used to have Pokemon cards when I was at school. Same here. Pikachu. But, yeah. Pick you don't I literally you cannot remember any of this. <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't get it at the time. And no. now it's suddenly come back. Gone massive. Why has it come back? I don't get it. Because of the computer game. It's just nostalgia. But they're, but they're not re uh, They're just things that float. But then they're, they're not really there. How are people falling off cliffs? I don't understand. Twitter. Okay. Right. All right. Twitter. Tell Twitter. Go on Twitter. Tell, tell them both, right? And we'll go from there. But there is a Pokemon up on the stage. No, Screenshot there isn't. it. There, there is. There's a Pokemon up on Where? the stage. Here. I'm freaking these two out now. But there's a Pokemon <laughs> on the stage. Screen, screenshot oh it along with I their reaction, right? And then send it to our Twitter page.